Hi YouTube, so this is going to be my um, layout for me and Susan's challenge we have with each other, the kid picture layout. And um, she, it's so weird because she had posted her video this morning and I was going to do mine today too. So, uh, well, this is going to be the video I'm going to do, but YouTube no longer does video responses as of yesterday. So I'm really bummed because... Um, they said that only 0.004% ever watch video responses, so they took that feature off their site. So, which I'm kind of bummed because I know Sandra and um, Lisa do. I like to watch who participates in their challenges, and so they're not going to have um, the video responses anymore. So um, you have to just search in YouTube like a hashtag. I don't know how they're going to do it, but anyways, um, if you want to see. Um, Susan's challenge she'd already posted it she put I think she put we monster video response 12 by 12 kid challenge so I don't know it's it's kind of annoying that they YouTube always changes things but I guess it's their their site and it's free for us so we can't really complain too much so anyway so no more video responses so but we still had really fun doing this and we'll probably do more in the future probably just between us because you're not able to share it on YouTube anymore so but what I used for my layout was I went really, I wanted to use some of my new sassafras stuff that I got in. So I used those. These paper flowers I've had forever because I really wanted to do a girly page. And so I used a couple of these. This paper pack I just love. I had one before that's almost empty. It's kind of the similar colors. And I got it at Big Lots for $4. And it just reminds me, it just has lots of pretty wood grain paper in there. Lots of good background paper. Um, this, the quality is really heavy duty and stuff. Like I just love the designs. They're kind of muted, but yet they could still be girly. So that's the paper that I use. So I'm going to show you the layout. And it was so super fun doing this layout because I don't know how I'm going to get this to stand up. Let me see if I can get it in view. Okay, well, I don't know if that's going to work. My tripod's kind of broken. I don't know, maybe it's better if I set it. Oh, I'll just have to hold it. So um, we had to do a challenge where um, you had a kid picture and so my mom had given me this picture. I actually screenshot it and printed out a new one, didn't use the original. And it's entitled, I Got Big Hair, <laughs> because um, this is from the 70s, so I kind of wanted to use muted colors, but I still wanted to make it pop. I actually scrap lifted this off of one of the 2 piece sites. And I have it on my phone, so I can't show you who the artist was that I scrap lifted it from, but... Um, I really love the way that it turned out. So these are like the sassafras up here, and I kind of um, layered them a little bit, outlined them, and then the flowers, I, um, with the flowers, I kind of outlined them, and then I even used my gray marker to kind of highlight. It's hard to tell on camera, but kind of highlight them, because the flowers, if you, if you use just flat paper flowers, they just look bland. So you do kind of have to outline them and fancy them up a bit, which is kind of fun. It's kind of like an artsy thing to do. And um, my hair has always been super big. I it's I get it from my dad. Well, I'll just read the journal. It says, "Thanks, Dad, for the big hair." Um, Mom, Mom only brushed it when it was a meeting day, only three days a week. It's a love hate thing. And thank you, no more tangles made the job easier on me and my mom. So um, I don't know if you guys remember. Maybe they still have this product, but I screenshot it off the um, off the internet. It's the no more tangles. Oops, let me see if I can focus that. Does that focus? I don't know, but that's the picture of what I used. I had my favorite brush and a bottle of No More Tangles. And if I didn't have the No More Tangles, I would cry and my mom would not, I would not let her brush my hair because it was so big. And she basically just did ringlets. I don't even think she really brushed it through, otherwise it'd be a big afro. So I used a lot of the bling here on the page. I love to use these little gem blings. And then I don't know if you could tell, but... Um, I kind of fancied up the paper a bit. I used my Spectrum Nor marker and kind of highlighted just a few of the little um, flowers there with the green and then also with the pink. And then I um, put some stickles in there. Um, just some of them because I kind of had it going like this so that it looked like it was more of a an accent that already came with the page. October afternoon here. This is just a basic gray. So anyways, this is just some doily I had in my stash. I kind of lay layered some of that wood grain paper in the back. And I just love these little tags. I think I got these in a little ephemera pack. 
but um, I wish that they made a die this small and cute and petite because I just love to add little tags and stuff to the pages that go with that. So, And then also on the back, I like to write um, when I did it, what it was for, what I was watching on TV when I did the page, how the weather was. I don't know. It's just something that I learned from. I think Ginger Cupcake does that with her layout. So very fun to do this layout. I can't wait. I want to probably do some more. This is going to go on my Project Life page. I have another Page already on the back that's going to be a collage picture for Project Life. So, oh, and then this says Gold Beach Noted because it's circa 1975. <laughs> so, I think that's the year I was thinking I'm like three or four. So, very fun. Um, very fun to do. So, if anybody wants to participate, I guess just let me know down below that you made a video and I'll go check yours out. Okay, thanks for watching.